today we will review this amazing piece of gadget which is a monocular telescope today we will review this lens package which i have received from banggood.com i will put the link of this product in the description of this video you can check that out so banggood.com sent me this box which contains a monocular telescope and it is high quality written and monocular means there is a single telescope that means you can see through one eye or it is suitable for phones for taking pictures and there are three types of monocular let's see whichever which one we have received so let's open this box and let's find out what is inside this box okay so this is a plastic looks like eyepiece there is a cleaning cloth inside there is a small tripod looks different kind oh, it's flexible leg can be stressed or leg can be like this we'll check this later then there is a phone holder we can fix this lens on a phone so for the testing we will use this realme 3 we'll keep that aside and this is the lens package and there is some chinese manual also written in english so i'll keep it here i'll keep the cleaning cloth also inside Oh, there is one lanyard to hold the lens, I think. I'll keep that inside also. And just keep, keep the package here. So, this is the main lens, tripod, and I piece something and a holder. So these things we will receive in this package so let's see how to use this one it looks little bit different from the normal phone lenses let's remove this big lens looks very huge okay so it comes with very nice silky smooth bag lens bag As you can see this bag is very big to accommodate this big lens so here is this lens as you can see this is very big i'll keep these things aside okay so when you open this lens you can see it's like a gun <laughs> this is the back side you put this side on your eye and you can see the distant objects very clear it's basically a zoom lens or a telescopic lens or tele lens whatever you can call there is a compass don't know what is the use of this compass but it is provided that's nice let's open the front part as well i think it will be open like this okay okay so this body looks very new to me because I have never used such a big lens having so many things 
okay so there is a tripod mount is provided this tripod will go here okay and in this body this part is rotating this part is also rotating so these two parts are rotating so that means it is for adjusting the focus i think we will check that after attaching to our phone okay so how to attach to our phone this one is the holder that will go in our phone it will hold our phone okay so this part will be useful i think okay now it's become a lens we can put our phone with this okay i can fix this one here i think okay done this holder will hold this phone like this it can be extended this part will be extended to hold your phone it's a normal phone holder and next we have to keep this in the middle of our primary camera as you know if you have a dual camera triple camera or quad camera all lenses are supported so you just have to plug the lens on the primary camera of your phone so make we'll put this hole on the middle of this primary camera this is my primary camera okay and then i will tighten this screw like this okay now i will fix this lens so to fix this lens it is very easy in this case there is no screw just put it like this done but as it is very heavy it will be difficult for me to handle by hand this tripod is provided let's put this tripod and see if it will help us okay i have fitted this tripod and if i will put it like this i don't know if this tripod is of any use because this tripod size is less than the height of my phone and i cannot put my phone like this it will fall down so you need a big tripod to fix onto this lens and one more thing the problem is there is no thread to attach this lens with this holder so the lens is not fixing well so it may come out any time so i will request banggood.com or the manufacturer to put a good quality thread here so that it can hold this lens properly so that's it for the fixing part let's now test this lens by opening our camera so camera is open now okay so after attaching this lens you can see there is a black background black round color display is coming i will remove this this is the original view and if you put the lens this is not on the center let me fix it on the center again Okay, now it is tight. You can see it is a dark circle 
coming that means this lens cannot be used in a full view to use this lens in a full view you have to zoom on the screen for about 1.9x now as you can see it is full screen and you can shoot now okay so this is the output we are getting from this lens I am getting there is some blue fringing I have done 2x zoom and I am getting some blue fringing some lots of distortion as I have told there are two rotatable things in this lens one is this part we can rotate another one is this thing we can rotate this one so let's test this one then we will test this one so for this one let's make it 2x zoom so currently i can focus this brass near me that means it is with minimum focus distance minimum focus distance in this lens is around 1 meter around 1 meter ok and I will now try to focus on those trees you can see the trees are not in focus so I will try to rotate this thing to the right so that tree will be in focus now you can see the tree is coming little bit in focus okay now the tree is in focus so basically this this thing is used for uh, changing the focus from nearer to the farthest and let's test this ring what is the use of this thing so this ring will change the this black portion part so if I will rotate to the left you can see the circle becomes very less that means we have to do more than 2x zoom to remove the black circle now it is 2.2x zoom and then I don't know what is the use of that circle part because it is of no use let's rotate this back to the right side and you can see using 2x zoom we can able to remove the black border so this thing is used for controlling the black border so i will suggest you to use to the rightmost part you put this to the rightmost part then you will get less black border and this part is will be used for focus shift so let's take some photos with this lens and then I will attach that photos after this video. Let's start, start the testing of this lens. As you can see we are sitting that temple around here. So it will be not seen properly. Let's see what will happen after putting this lens. You can see the temple now and to remove the black border we have to zoom around 1.7x in video mode so that you can able to see that temple so this is the power of this lens as you can see with normal mode you cannot able to see that temple temple with this lens you can able to now see that 
you can see very far objects you can see the sun is setting down now here without the lens and this is with the lens we are trying to capture this tripod apexel tripod and on the phone is there so if you adjust the focus you can able to focus on the tripod you can see in this and the background is blurred like any other zoom lenses the background is blur i can now capture some image this is that little tripod will focus by rotating the ring focus ring and i will capture some shots this is a 40 into 60 435 it is written waterproof but don't try on water it is 40 into 60x that means it is around 40x unique thing about this lens is in market you will in this price you will get 12x 18x zoom lenses but this is the 40x zoom lens so that is the advantage of this lens in the same price you are getting very high magnification so if you need a very high magnification lens then this is that lens so you can go for this lens but don't expect very high quality dslr like photographs but it is a decent lens this is not for portrait photography let me clarify because the lens output is not that good so you will not get a very high quality photo of your face because there are distortion it is not for portrait photography so you just want to see what is going on there far away then only you can use this lens you can directly put this lens on your eye and also you can see but if you want to capture video or photo then you can attach this lens onto your phone and you can start capturing so that's it for today guys i will see you in another review video that is coming within very few days so i will be very busy these few days because i am traveling so in every week i try to post one lens video but this time it is too long but anyway i will keep on posting more lens videos so that you can see what is going on currently in the market of phone photography and all and i will try to keep up with all these lenses and all and i will specially thanks banggood.com for sending me this to review and if possible please send me other amazing lenses if you have banggood.com so that i can review them and let's make phone photography fun together what you say being good thanks for watching guys and i will see you in next video